Uh, hi everybody, Steven here. So, <clears throat> back for some uh, concept design. I think for the past few weeks I've just been um, kind of reading, doing some research and start typing uh, my draft, uh, which you could have seen in the, the previous video. And I recently had my second crit um, didn't start so well, the computer wasn't working properly, uh, couldn't find my notes, so I kind of blanked for a while and uh, my brain had to reboot. Uh, but anyway, after that, it was kind of okay. Uh, so now that I've kind of advanced a bit more on my writing, so I decided to go back to, to some design. And I don't know if I show you guys this, but it's just the concept of me um, using the history and the timeline of, of Tahiti and kind of go with the idea that uh, this straight line here is the axis of colonization so, and the curved lines on the side um, it's uh, the timeline of uh, let's say the locals and uh, each event that I've listed on the left is kind of like a turning point and this is what shaped um, the building um, so now I just um, want to dig a little bit more into into the design and and uh, let's go in here. Um, so that's the site. It's right in a corner. This is a little streets here. And here are some photos of what's around. So that's the back here, and that's the front. So there's this old uh, navy building that I want to. Kind of retain to be um, the entry uh, of the new uh, memorial museum. And so, if we go back to the initial concept where you have that timeline and that curve, this one is a bit different from what I showed you earlier, where um, the point is actually like a point of encounter, and then you would have that space that's formed between the intersections of the two lines. That could be used to create a space to kind of represent uh, the era at that time. So here I would talk about uh, the first contact with the European, and here um, the arrival of the uh, evangelization, and here when Teddy became under the French protections and later became a, a colony. And here there would have been more about the, the nuclear test itself. And this is the present. So I had come up with um, this design initially. I kind of like the idea of taking that floor plan and just use it as sections, flip it around, and it will also create those um, spaces in between. So I thought that this could be used to create a space for the memorial. As you can see here underneath. And then that's the floor plan that you've seen earlier. So I had this idea um, for this to, because the, the room for the memorial will be underneath. Um, so instead of just using the timeline as a way to shape this, I thought this could actually be like a open space for the public. Um, like in the National Museum of Australia, they have like this uh, garden of Australian right in the middle. And uh, I was thinking, oh, what would be like the, the Tahitian um, version of that? So I thought, oh, that could be like a, an island, or in this case, it could have been the atoll of uh, Moroi Fongantofa, like this big open space with uh, this ring around where people can walk. Um, so I thought maybe I'm just going to use those as a starting point to shape those um, open space here. So let's kind of do that right now. So I'm just going to maybe create copies of this. And I'm just going to move them in place. Oops, I guess this needs to be under there so I can see it. So that's what I was thinking to do. And I'm just going to lower the opacity so I can see um, behind it. Um, 
yeah so I'm just going to try that we can just rescale it uh, I mean it doesn't need to fit exactly that like I could just create another path here um, oh. like that Yeah, I mean, that's just an idea that I have at the moment. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Um, uh, yeah, maybe I just make it smaller. So here the space is going to be a bit bigger. Um, like so. And maybe we take a uh, phone that over. Put it around here. And like so i mean it looks a bit bigger but uh like it's not proportional uh to the real life size but it's okay uh so now if we were to lower the opacity of this as well and i'm just gonna draw on top and i like to have that yellow background now let's take the brush tool and see what kind of flow plans we can get now so i'm just gonna use a straight line and it will be something like this and so let's say there'll be the building and um, I'm just gonna paint it so that's the kind of shape we could we could get um, I mean I could still get that line above let's um, multiply and lower the opacity as well like I could still keep that as like um, the shape of the upper floor above and this will just be like an open space where people can sit or table and this is going to be um, like a, a water area um, so I guess it would be more like having a dotted line and dotted line Oops. Oops. Where am I? Chill, I don't really like that swing. Uh, so maybe I just do it like this. So this is going to be a water. And this one as well. I mean, it's just like a starting point. I, I don't really need to kind of represent exactly what it is like uh, the atoll um, just gonna add some color in it oops Wrong. Uh, I think it's because um, it's not close so uh, what I'm gonna do is just paint over it yeah I'll, I like to use color um, it just I don't know, like while I'm doing this, it just, my brain is still But another thing that I wanted to do Because uh, if we go to, oops, not this one here uh, Let's go to Google And Amorua uh, uh, testing nuclear. I think there was a a map that I've seen. Uh, well, also can't find it, but uh, it was a map like that showing the locations of all um, the bombs. 
let's just make it a test uh, ball. I'll try to find it uh, in the next video. Um, but it gave me um, an idea where it was. So there, there was heaps of them scattered. Um, Um, so they were all, all around uh, the ring. Hmm, is it on multiply still? Oh, that's the water. That's why. Just make another one. So all the bombing were done. Well, a lot of them uh, on the ring of the atolls. A um, few of them. I don't know the exact place, but they were done in the water. And the same for Pongatoka. Uh, and so I thought I could use those bombing because from what I read, um, the one that were done on the ring, underground, um, they would dig a, sub a hole. Um, don't remember how f far down, but then they would place the bomb, drop it down, all the way down and just explode it oh before they explode i think they fill it with cement and explode it so that would kind of leave like a a concrete column so i thought that'd be a good idea to use that as a, a structure for the building and the way they will be placed will kind of mark uh the approximative locations of, of the test and because there's a lot of them that happen and I guess it would be good to, to support the building. Um, so here. And we can have some more around there, even though it didn't happen there, but yep. And I was thinking that under there, that's where you'll have those kind of, oops, I'm just going to save that concept, uh, I don't even know, like, let's say six, and now I could just take that, make a copy, I'm going to merge it. And I'm going to turn it like this. And what do you get? Um, so I was wondering if I could use something like this um, for the space that are actually below those things. Um, don't know if I. And then where you had those red dots. Um, I guess they, they, they will come, oops. They will come all the way down here, something like that. So this is like a the underground space. Just gonna erase that. And I don't know, maybe the path is gonna be like this. I think I had another drawing. I think it was this one. So before we had the this, I'm gonna copy, merge it. Just gonna be like top, and I'm just gonna resize it so I have it here. So that was the idea that we had. 
and so this is going to be the blue one um maybe i might switch it around because i felt that Morua had um more testing done there so maybe it could be at the front where it's deeper Because I was think, it's just I was um, like composition wise, just to get some balance. Because this one's gonna be uh, obviously taller, um, and a little deeper, and maybe this one is actually like this, and this one a bit smaller. And then you get the ground level. Those thing here kind of reminds me uh, of the atoll itself. So if I were to do this, and put it down here. Let's just get some blue. Like this was going to be the water. And this is going to be water. Normally in real life, this is the water as well. So maybe people will well, people will enter from there. They'll take a staircase. They'll go underground, and then they'll start to meet uh, this space here. So I don't know how big this space is gonna be. Uh, maybe not as deep. Uh, maybe around here, and we can delete this one here. And then you would have all the columns um, that's supporting, I guess, that level there. That's going to go all the way down. Why is the opacity lower down? So let's say that's the ground level. And it might be a bit offset just to create some type of eaves. And so the beam is gonna go, the columns are gonna go all the way here. There's one at the back. Maybe some of them coming from here. The one that was done in the water. I think you, because the it's going all the way back, so normally you would see some at the back as well. I'm just going to reduce the line weight, and so you would see something like this. So that will be the underground. So those will all be the concrete column that will kind of support the structure, but as well memorial like a some type of monument of the the nuclear test because uh, I know all of them had uh, like a name um, so maybe this could be used as a exhibition or like a place where you could write the name of the test um, give it a description 
and people could come there so maybe this is gonna be one space like the one that's just underneath this and this will give you feel of compression danger something that's gonna fall on your head and then you have a bigger open space so I guess you'll come through here that's where you come down and this one it will take you back up I'm thinking that below it's gonna kind of look like this um, I saw this image on Pinterest last night um, where was it uh, no 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 ah this I think that was really interesting and I guess that's the kind of feeling that I, I'd like to have like all those big column um, coming down and you just down there um, really tiny um, and kind of get that some water as well um, that feeling that's like a, a ruin something abandoned uh, but also they had like a big role in the development of the the country um, I get this one oh, it's a bit creepy and and those things as well like those skylights or like tunnels uh, do kind of form that column so maybe some of them would not be solid but just like maybe the one that's are under the the water or the pond would be like a beam of light I come through here and that will give you a sense of the bombing as well I guess And they will always be moving um, with the sand path. Because I do want to give that feeling of instability under there. Um, I know uh, Remco House has done a, I think a cultural center in, in Rotterdam where all these columns were angle. And I guess when you see a angle column it does give you that sense of instability so I was gonna reuse that in here so instead of um, having all those columns straight like this I'll just have maybe one that's like that one that's straight maybe one that's not even going all the way to the ground Or maybe one that's not going all the way to the top. Or one that's broken in the middle. Or pieces like this. Maybe it could be like a a concrete concrete like this. And then um, it will be cut in some places and what you only see um, would be maybe the steel that's in there and that's holding it and that kind of thing just give you that sensation that uh, am I full and maybe some of it could be offset and displaced um, so you that feeling that maybe it, it's sliding yeah so what if this going this way this way um, yep. 
just some ideas. Hmm. So that would be for the space underground. Maybe this room actually, instead of being filled with water, could be all white. So maybe there's like different paths. You can come here, you go inside here, and then you will learn more about maybe the bomb and um, type of technology it was. And if you don't want, you can just go underneath, but then you'll still feel that pressure. There's still something bad. You don't know what, but uh, it, it's there. And because I mean, um, the nuclear waste are still under the under the atolls. Um, that's just sealed. Because I think it's so you get the shaft like this. It's going all the way down, and then. Um, that's where they put the bomb it explodes, it makes like a, a big cavern and because of the radiations and, and, and the heat um, it seals itself normally uh, but I think there was instances where they had some crack and that um, radioactive dust could actually uh, get out um, so I guess this idea of cavern um, is something that I also want to explore and, and use in that uh, representation. So it could this shape here could um, talk about the the lagoon, but also the void that's being created um, after the bomb. Uh, because normally they all happen underground, it's so like they will bomb here, and maybe this is another space um, below. But I think there was this one story where um, the bomb didn't actually go all the way down, it stopped midway because there was a malfunction, so they still had to explode. Um, the, the nuclear bomb so if there was the shaft and the bomb stopped here and then it created that void instead of it be it here uh, so I guess this space could represent um, the danger um, of the nuclear test and uh, that not everything is under control um, some type shit happens um, and so that's why we need to be careful um, so maybe that's a shaft I'm just gonna delete that create like an opening and So maybe those are like the the cables, the electrical cables to kind of detonate um, the bomb. And I was maybe we could have like a skylight to get some natural light. But then I was thinking to bring something artificial, just like like the bomb. So you you'd have like a a big light. So that would be kind of represent the bomb. And and then be all white like uh, really bright white not like natural light white go over it and we'll multiply that oh white doesn't multiply <laughs> uh, because multiply removes the white um, overlay so it's gonna be white and Maybe the interior is going to be white as well, so this place is going to be super bright. Like it will be underground, but bright. So, like, there's going to be a lot of reflection. And can I guess. Not too sure how it works, the nuclear explosion, but I'm sure there's like a atoms hitting each other or whatever and there's a reaction so actually it'd be cool to have some type of um, 
reflections coming out. This so yeah, there'll be one room, and this is gonna be um, the room under there. So one puff here, and there's one puff underneath. So this could be here, so like midway, and so maybe here it's not going to be flat, maybe it's going to be like a curve. That could be good for like um, balancing the composition because this is really high, it's a bit low, go up and maybe this is going to be filled, like this is going to be like one product of the building, this one here, and this is going to be another one. So let's just quickly paint that on top. So let's say this one. So that's going to be like the, the facade of the building. I've changed the brush to like a pencil type of um, texture just to get a change. Um, so I guess you see this and this, they're a bit more balanced now because uh, if I were to cut that, it'd be three different pieces. Um, and then you would have the building at the back. This one's going to be taller. Mm. Maybe there's a disconnect. Or maybe not. Um. So we go down, you go up, you come back here. I think here this idea of the the void, like the the nuclear void. If we go back to this um, this nuclear area, because I think at that time when a um, lot of money were put into the economy to develop the infrastructure infrastructure of of Tahiti to get ready for for the nuclear testing. Um, everybody was earning a lot of money, uh, I think most people, and it kind of created that false economy for, um, because um, Tahiti didn't have any resources, um, we don't produce anything, uh, I mean we got pearls, I think there's some, um, some local um, foods, but uh, it's not our main um, source of revenue I uh, think as a country uh, mostly come from uh, tourism and um, services like uh, hotels um, so I really wanted to kind of represent this time as something that was um, outside like not really part that was fake um, I mean that's just one inter interpretation at the moment I could not even might, might not even use it. Um, uh, where is this black? So it's here. If I were to 
make a mask so I can remove stuff. So I think it was around here. Yeah, I'm gonna paint black. Um, floor hundred percent, but this one's gonna be hard round because this. So that's going to be the line of of the nuclear test. Um, also, uh, for the facade, I was thinking, you know how in the Jewish museum, uh, Limiskin used like the slashes and his windows to kind of um, represent. Uh, the Holocaust or uh, something that's been broken. So for Teddy, um, I think with this idea of colonization, I wanted to kind of represent how um, the structure, the, the policies, the laws um, that was brought by European through, um, let's say, um, uh, Christianity, um, French uh, political um, policies, and it really kind of shaped um, the spaces, I mean, how people were living. So maybe I could represent that shape, uh, I mean, that structure into the facade. Um, so I was thinking to sculpt it, like cut it, as if um, the structure is reshaping the facade. So So those will be parts that are taken from the facade. They'll be maybe not views, but uh, I want it to be cut at an angle. Um, like this. This one would be more like as if it was cut. Like a natural material, um, maybe some type of stone and, and maybe it would have a more um, organic feel to it even though it's straight lines and let me see some it's just like the I've seen a photo of some rock formation uh, in Teddy's like I think I had that in my Pinterest see oh this that's what I wanted to do something like that um, so all go um, like going all the way to the top and then you get this little thing so I thought this would be nice to have like some type of seating um, and it create that verticality and then at the top they're got just gonna be chopped off or sculpted to fit the um, I don't know this the structure um, so that's what I was planning to do here. <laughs> and then see here at the bottom, maybe you'll have different height. 
people can sit here and I was also seeing like some type of waterfall like the water dripping here because um, I guess here if it's I think it's gonna be if I do uh, like an isometric view of this um, you'd have that board here and this actually is gonna be chopped at an angle so it's gonna be more like that So this is going in, and I'm just going to delete that, delete that, okay, like that. And so this is going straight down. And actually, this is wrong. It should be going to be cut like this. And This is more like that. Oops. Yeah. Yep. So it's going a certain way. if it's this one's cut as well so it'll be cutting inside so you wouldn't see this um, but you still see the ground and if it's cut from this side you wouldn't see that Let's say it's like this. So something has been taken away. And oh, no more this should be going here. More of that shape. Um This doesn't exist, uh, uh, but like this is, let's say it's transparent. People will walk underneath. Um, bam, bam. Let's cut that. Um, so yeah, this is just how it will be cut, and maybe those walls that are, are cut could it be a different color um, one idea that I had um, it's coming back to this white here which in this case represent uh, the nuclear test the explosion uh, the mushroom clouds uh, but white also could be seen um, for the dis destruction of the coral um, because there's um, in Tahiti there's like the bleaching corals so they're all getting white and it's just um, to show that they're, they're actually dying and in Tahiti that's like a representation that's that's kind of known and I think worldwide so so you get to this gray um, dark natural um, stone but then it's being cut by colonization new structure and laws and what's left it's behind it is um, this white wall um, maybe that would that would have like a, a pattern of, of the coral mm, I'm just gonna change the opacity here so this is going to be white um, here it should be white because of the, the nuclear test or 
maybe it's not gonna be white but this top here is gonna be white that's for sure um, because this is this part there and this part's gonna be white but of course in that isometric we don't view it it's if you need to move around and look at this way and this might be white I mean, just some idea for now just and I'll try to do it on the computer and can you use like a boolean operation to can remove stuff around uh, I'll guess I have to have some proper reason and or some other stuff that I want to present to kind of get those shape like um, how we use the contour of the islands of the atolls to create the shape of those cup of lagoon gardens mm. but yeah I guess that's the direction where I'm going um, I think the proportion of the building are okay uh, anyway um, I think that's it for today um, uh, let me know what you think um, if you have any comments or suggestion um, in the design and yep thank you